डॉक्टर रवि गुप्ता टुडे वी गॉन्ट टॉक अबाउट साफ्ट बियरिंग वेरियस टाइप ऑफ साफ्ट बियरिंग As you can see in this diagram, that the propeller is fitted to the tail end shaft and is connected to the main engine via intermediate shaft. This intermediate shaft is supported by a various type of bearing, and these bearings are called shaft bearing. The intermediate shafting. Between the tail shaft and the main engine, gear box or thrust block may be supported in plane tilting or roller bearing. So, what I mean to say that the intermediate shaft can be supported by different type of bearing. It can be plane, it can be roller, it can be tilting pad. So, the two former type usually have individual oil sum the oil being circulated by a collar and a scraper device roller bearing are grease lubricated if the plane and tilting pad bearing are fitted in a intermediate shafting in that case it will have its own individually oil sum for cooling and circulation purpose it will look like this this is a type of plane bearing having oil cooling method and having oil level indicator basically the oil is circulated around the plane bearing which is been cooled by sea water or by fresh water depending upon the system and the flow of oil around the bearing can be seen for cooling by this oil level indicator the individually oil sum usually have a cooling water or simple cooling water chamber fitted cooling water is provided from a service main connected to sea water circulating system the cooling water passes directly to over board so the heat which is generated in running period is been cooled by the water and it the water heated water is going directly to the over board it can be sea water or fresh water cool but in modern engine it is mainly fresh water cool usually for plane and tilting pad bearing only a bottom half is provided the top part acting as a cover the aftermost plumber block however always has a full bearing so here as you can see that in the intermediate shaft this part is only consisting of lower half of bearing the top part is acting just like a cover but here in the after most the bearing is supported by both top and bottom part so basically bearing are provided for alignment purpose here it is acting as a support and hence it is provided only on the bottom part and here it is acting mainly for alignment and for ease it here it therefore is spot provided in both top and bottom part now let's see as you can see here this is the intermediate part where the lower half is provided and top is acting like a cover okay and you can see here also this is the where both top and lower part is provided and whole chamber is been cooled by oil okay now let's talk about plane bearing mainly what i have told you that there are three type of bearing plane tilting pad and roller bearing today we will discuss plane bearing 
so mainly the plane bearing rests at the time any oil in between plane general bearing and static shaft is squeezed out and this middle bearer contact so as you can see here when the intermediate shaft is not rotating this is the intermediate shaft okay this is this part okay and this is the bearing part so this is the bearing part okay and this is a intermediate shaft so as you can see the when the shaft is not rotating the there is a metal to metal contact in between the bearing and shaft at the start of the rotation the journal is inclined to roll up the bearing surface against the direction of rotation until the friction slip occur then provided there oil in clearance space this will cling to the moving surface and be dragged between the shaft and the bearing so basically what happened when it start to rotate a friction slip occur and a oil wedge is form here in between the intermediate shaft and the bearing this oil wedge tend to squeeze in the oil in between the intermediate shaft and the bearing at the shaft rotate as it speed up continue to carry oil to the shaft underside so that developing a film with a sufficient pressure to hold the shaft clear of the bearing so what is happening first when the shaft is not rotating at that time this metal to metal contact in between the bearing and intermediate shaft as it start to rotate a oil wedge is form this oil wedge will try to squeeze in the oil and as the oil will squeeze in it will cause a small amount of upliftment of the intermediate bearing or upliftment of intermediate shafting the as the shaft will get up little bit again more oil will come in and as the speed will rotate more amount of oil will come and a time will come when whole thing will start to float okay see the pressure build up is related to the speed of rotation thus oil deliver as shaft turn at normal speed will form a layer of film separating the shaft and bearing and prevent direct wear metal to metal contact so the full layer lubrication is obtained is directly proportional to the rotation of shaft if a shaft rotate in a normal speed a full fluid layer of lubrication will continue to be maintained because it is a continuous process of formation and it will continue to maintain and there will be no metal to metal contact as the speed reduces the chances of metal to metal contact increase pressure generated in the oil film is most effective overcome over about one third of the bearing area very important it's very important what is the thing is that here as you can see the pressure generated is effective in the one third of the whole bearing area means this is the load carrying capacity of a bearing once more i will read it pressure generated in the oil film is most effective over one third of the bearing area because of the oil loss at the bearing end and very fairly load is supported and transmitted to the journal mainly by the area where the film is generated so as you can see the oil wedge is form here and it will squeeze in the oil and it will uplift the intermediate shaft and here the oil is getting loosened up so 
the load carrying capacity the load carrying capacity is this one because it is carrying the load of this shaft in this area only and because and hence this is called load carrying area okay so now you can understand that hydrodynamic lubrication is how generated and form in a propeller intermediate plane bearing what is hydrodynamic lubrication you know hydrodynamic lubrication is a full fluid lubrication full fluid film lubrication where there will be no metal to metal contact and a whole two body will be separated by a full fluid film and it will be directly proportional to the speed of rotation so friend i hope in today video you have learned about the hydrodynamic lubrication and about the plane bearing if you want to know about the tilting pad bearing and the roller bearing please remain tuned to the next video if you want to know about dry and wet push up method keyed and keyless propeller nomenclature of propeller please watch my earlier video and go to the playlist and you can also go to the description box and you can see the link below image kit goes to max george have a good day friend okay bye